welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today we're making kicked up Cracker Jacks. Now Cracker Jacks are basically popcorn and peanuts coated in a toffee-like caramel. But lately the peanuts have become few and far between. Now I'm adding a whole lot more to my batch. I also added some spice since I made mine for a Super Bowl party and I wanted them to fit in with the chili, buffalo wings, and other game day fare. But you could leave the spice out if you want. Seriously, the only thing you're not going to like about these is how addictive they are. And I mean it, folks. Once you get your hands on these sweet, spicy, buttery clusters of fluffy popcorn and crunchy peanuts, believe me, you're going to have a hard time walking away from that bowl. Now to start out, you'll need 16 cups of popped popcorn, and you need to make sure the container you've got is large enough to mix it later. And to get 16 cups, You'll need to pop just over a half cup of kernels using the stovetop method or an air popper like I used. And to that popcorn, add two cups of peanuts. And you'll want to use either cocktail peanuts or Spanish peanuts versus dry roasted, which don't really have quite the right texture for this recipe. And don't mix them in with the popcorn. We're going to be pouring the caramel directly over the peanuts themselves to get them well coated first so that they stick better to the popcorn and you don't end up with a bunch of loose peanuts floating around in the final product. You'll also want to have two baking sheets ready, and I like to line mine with parchment paper for easy cleanup. I also like to clip the ends with stationary clips so that the parchment won't be moving around during the tossing phase. You'll also need two wooden or heat proof silicone spatulas sprayed with nonstick spray so they're ready when you need to toss the ingredients. You've got to make sure everything's ready because when you're dealing with hot caramel, you won't have time to run around gathering supplies. You've got to act quickly before the caramel hardens. Now for that caramel, in a medium saucepan, add one and a half cups of dark brown sugar, three quarters of a cup of butter, which is one and a half sticks, three quarters of a cup of corn syrup, and I used light corn syrup, but you could use dark if that's what you prefer. One teaspoon of sea salt, one tablespoon of taco seasoning, and you need to make sure it's gluten free. I actually used a sample I got in this send me gluten free subscription box. And if you want this extra spicy, add an additional quarter to half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now begin to heat it over a medium heat until the ingredients are fully melted and incorporated. It's going to take a few minutes. Then as soon as the mixture starts to boil, allow it to simmer undisturbed for five minutes. And it's a good idea to use a timer here. And when the timer goes off, give the pot a quick stir, remove it from the heat, and stir in one teaspoon of baking soda. And as you stir that baking soda in, you'll see the mixture start to lighten as the baking soda reacts with the acidity of the molasses in the brown sugar to create tons of tiny air bubbles that are going to make the caramel easy to bite through. Now instead of pouring it all at once, I find it best to pour half the mixture, aiming mainly for the big pile of peanuts, then stir it quickly, and you'll see that the caramel instantly starts to harden up. And as you toss it, try to get as many uncoated white patches worked up towards the top of the bin, then pour over the remainder of the caramel sauce trying to aim for those uncoated sections. Then quickly begin to mix it again, trying to get the best coverage possible. Now divide the mixture evenly between the two baking sheets, then spread it into even layers and bake it in a preheated 250 degree oven for 30 minutes, stirring every 10 to 15 minutes. And I take the sheets out one at a time and use a silicone spatula to kind of turn the popcorn over trying to make sure I get nice even coverage over the whole batch. And as I return the first pan to the oven, I rotate the pan's positions and start working on the other pan. And during this turning process, I also decided that my batch wasn't spicy enough, so I sprinkled on some crushed red pepper. And once the caramel corn has baked for a half an hour, turning every 10 to 15 minutes, allow it to cool completely before breaking it up to sizes that you like. Then store it in an airtight container until you're ready to serve this. And when your guests get a taste of these kicked up Cracker Jacks, 
you'll be an instant rock star. Believe me, it's going to be really hard to walk away from that bowl. And if you'd like to print a copy of today's easy, kicked up Cracker Jack recipe, you could always visit my blog at the link below. And for brand new recipes every week, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.